Okay, so question four, you're looking at writing four fifths as a percentage. Um, have a go at this and I will come back with a solution in a second. Okay, right, so let's think about this. Percentage, what is percentage out of? When we think about percentage, we know that it's something out of 100. So I'm trying to get my four fifths, my four fifths fraction to have 100 on the bottom. If I can do that, then the top will tell me what the percentage is. So some of you might be able to go straight from 5 to 100. You might know what you can multiply 5 by. If you multiply by 20, you will get 100. If you do the same to the top, times by 20, 4 lots of 20 is going to give me 80. So the answer is 80 out of 100, which is going to be 80%. All right, so... That might be too much of a jump for you. So sometimes we put in like a little stepping stone fraction, a halfway house. We can't go from 5 to 100. We can't think 5 times something is 100. So let's go to 10. 10 is always a good number for doing this method. 5 to 10, we times that by 2. So let's times the top by 2. 4 lots of 2 is going to give me 8. So you might already think, well, I know actually 8 tenths is 80%, so you might have got out there. But if you still didn't realise that, you could go on to 100 by doing 10 times 10. That gives me the 100 on the bottom. Do the same to the top. Make sure we're, we're using equivalent fractions here, aren't we? All right, all of these fractions mean the same thing. They just look different. Um, 8 times 10. 8 times 10 is going to give me the 80. So that's just another alternative Kind of like version of that method to make it a bit easier. All right, hopefully that's helpful.